Good afternoon everyone, Elsa the Bargain Hunter here. I'm here really quickly today to share with you guys what I made for my daughter-in-laws. Now you guys have heard me mention a lot my daughter and you guys uh, know very well my grandson Eli and I've mentioned that I have other grandkids. Now I have a total of six grandkids and um, they belong to our oldest boys. Our oldest son has a five year soon to be five year old and I made something from my daughter-in-law and our second oldest has four kids and he had he is the father of our oldest grandson and the twins and Mr. Xavier we call him Mr. Xavier because Xavier is a trip he is amazing he is he's too much you guys don't see them too much because um Diana my daughter is a single parent and so she, she needs a lot of our time and help. So that's why Eli's here a lot. And unfortunately, our oldest son has very bad asthma. And we had Luna. <clears throat> now I say had because our youngest daughter has moved out. And Luna belonged to her. So she took Luna with her. So now we're in the process of eliminating all the cat hair. A deep cleaning of the house uh, before the grand kids can come because we didn't think it was fair to bring the other three and not our oldest and so forth so on so hopefully you guys will be seeing them soon once we get a deep cleaning done in this house but I also made some something for their mother my daughter-in-law my my son's um wife so I'm just I just wanted to share with you guys because I decided this year not to buy anything and to make something for them now I did make something for my daughter but she does watch my videos so I am not showing you guys that because I want her to be surprised and um, but my daughter-in-laws don't they're so busy with the kids and stuff my daughter watches it because Eli makes it a point to watch it and um, especially when I get friend mail he wants to see if he got anything so <laughs> so let me start um, what I used was everything that I have here at home paints glitter glue platforms whatever so this is something if you guys remember I had purchased this uh, last week at Dollar Tree the sign this is cute and I also purchased a couple of plaques this is one of the two and um, this one I haven't used yet I don't think I'm going to because I decided to do something different for my daughter so this is something that I bought so this is what I created for our oldest's um, wife and it was this I took the plaque, I painted it purple, and then I attached the cute sign, I painted it pink, and added some of this glitter. Now this is the glitter that I used on a project that I made for Linda over at Linda's Thrifty Life. I love this, this mix. I love this glitter mix. So I decided to add it, excuse me, to add it to the cute sign just to make it stand out. I think it came out cute. <laughs> and what I did, I had some ribbon. Now, Linda just gifted me this ribbon, and I found the perfect one, guys. It's purple and pink. So I cut it, and I glued it in the back. That way she can hang it. I thought it speaks for itself. It's cute. Now, our daughter-in-laws are very cutesy, girly girls. My daughter is too, but these two the most. That's why I went ahead and did this. So I thought they came out really cute. I just glued the cute sign on there. Added some glitter, purple and pink. Why not? So that's for our oldest um, son. Now, for my daughter-in-law, our second oldest, I used a paper pad. And I did some cutouts. Um, and they're far away. I forgot to put them close, so forget that idea. I might have to fix it a little bit to make it. So this is the paper. What I did is I used some panels. That I had to get to reinforce the paper so that's what I did in the back now this is the front life is sweet your lashes and heels shouldn't be so I did that I added some wooden pieces here to make these stand out these are cutouts that came with the strip that I can't find I left everything too far away <sighs> added the bars some wood pieces some more cutouts now this is the paper that was gifted to me, not gifted to me, that from a D-stash that I got from Gina. And it had the strips and I used the dies that were also purchased in the D-stash. I thought that came out pretty cute. And then I used the green to match the green background. 
like green ribbon. See how sturdy it is? That's a piece of paper from the paper that I, from the D-stash. So I just hooked it up. Now, this is so girly, and this is so perfect for our daughter-in-law because she's very girly. And I just love the shoes, the gold, the lipstick, everything. Everything speaks her. So I thought this was perfect for her. So that is what I did. I'm still debating on whether or not to share my daughter's. Like I said, she does watch my videos. Might have to fix this a little bit. But I think it came out cute, guys. I just wanted to share with you guys what I did for them for, mo for Mother's Day. All right, guys. I don't plan on coming back until probably tomorrow or so. I have to finish my projects and finish doing some things. I'm exhausted today. I've been cleaning and doing what I got to do. So anyway, yeah, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys think it came out cute or whatever the case may be. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.